Signal can generate waveform averages both online and offline. The online example running here is using multiple states to mark the incoming MEP recordings. The averages on the right are then being processed according to selected state numbers, with frames of one state added to the average at the top and frames from another added to the average underneath. Signal uses multiple states to signify different experimental conditions during a recording. For example, you might have a number of different stimulus parameters that you would like to use. You can set up a number of states to hold each one of the different stimulus parameters, and these can then be applied manually, randomly, or by using a specified protocol order during the recording. Each recorded frame is saved with the specific state information that was in use when it was sampled, allowing frames recorded under different conditions to be analysed separately. If we stop sampling, we can show how to generate an example average offline with an existing data file. Online averages are created with the same steps described in this tutorial as long as you have a data file sampling or waiting to sample. We can create an average by selecting Waveform Average from the Analysis menu New Memory View option. This method will generate an average of the waveform channels using the start of the frame as a reference time. The Process Settings dialog allows you to select the channels to include the width of the average within the source frame and an optional offset from the start time of the frame. By default, the average is set to display the mean value of the data. Unchecking this option will show the sum of all the sweeps added to the average. You can set the x-axis of the average to start at 0, and also display extra information in the form of the standard deviation and standard error of the mean of the resulting data. Clicking New creates the memory view to hold the average and presents a process dialog. Here you can select which frames should be included in the average. You can select frame sets from the drop down list or enter values by hand in the form of 1 to 10 or 1, 3, 5, 7, for example. Frames in a signal data file can also be tagged by using the Ctrl T keyboard shortcut. This can be a quick and easy way to mark frames to include or exclude from analysis. The frame subset dropdown can be used to further qualify which frames are included in the analysis. For example, we might want to only average all untagged frames of a given state. For this, we could select untagged frames and then further qualify this by only processing frame state and then setting the state we want to use. The Clear Memory View Before Process checkbox will clear any existing data in the view before adding the results of the currently selected frames. The Reprocess If Source Data Changes checkbox enables automatic reprocessing. The Optimize Y Axis After Processing option will automatically rescale the data after the new results are added to the memory view. Clicking Process will then display the average of your selected frames. Let's select frames of state 3 and then process these to the memory view. Once you have an average displayed, you can append additional frames to the average view. To hold the results of averaging other selected source frames, 
Consider a situation where we want to average frames from state 3 and state 6. From the Analysis menu, select Append Average. Frames appended to an average will have the same process settings as the original average view. but will have its own separate process dialog, allowing you to select a different set of source frames. Using the Window menu Duplicate option, you can then view both the average of frames from state 3 alongside the average of frames from state 6. I hope this video has given you useful examples of creating waveform averages in Signal.